Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can find the missing secure folder on the home screen or the app screen on the Samsung Galaxy S 23 series. First, let's go back to your home screen by tapping on the home button at the bottom of the screen. Then swipe up to go into the app screen. Now to find a secure folder, just simply swipe across the screen to see if it is has been placed elsewhere on a different screen page. So just swipe across to see if you can find it. Another easy way to find a secure folder is to use the search function at the top here. So up here you can type in secure folder. So here we can see it shows secure folder. You can tap on that and that will allow you to open up the secure folder. Now another thing that might cause the secure folder to not be shown on the home screen or in the app screen is that it might not have been installed. So what you can do is tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Then swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. After that, we scroll down and tap on security and privacy. Then we scroll down and tap on secure folder. Now, if you haven't set up the secure folder before, you need to set up the secure folder before you can use it. If you already have set up the secure folder, but you still can't find it on your home screen or in the app screen, then maybe because it has been set to be hidden. In that case, you need to go into the settings. So again, you go into your secure folder settings uh, from the settings uh, from the settings screen here. So you go down, tap on security and privacy. Then we go into secure folder. And from here, tap on app secure add secure folder to app screen make sure this is switch on if this is switch off you can see here it will hide the secure folder secure folder won't appear on your home or app screen while hidden so make sure it is turned on if it's switch off then you will not be able to find a secure folder even if i try to search for it you can see it will not find it so what you need to do is go in here and make sure you switch it on once it is turned on, it should be it should reappear in your app screen. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for my videos.